Alright, I'm going to talk to you about the SURF browser. Uh, SURF is part of the suckless.org um, group of software, so it's uh, written in C and it is as simple as possible. And it's meant to be uh, very resource friendly, um, but just as featureful. So um, you can get sur uh, SURF either through your package manager or you can get it through the, their Git or their uh, download. Um, website so through your package manager it's just called surf um, if you have pacman then you just sudo pacman uh, dash s um, surf or you can get it from there uh, through one of these methods which I recommend because then uh, it's patchable and that's the whole point of getting suckless software is that you can patch it and you can play around with it it's uh, great so I'll show you how to do that so you can just um, you can get the the git version which is um, going to be less stable than the full release so it's going to be uh, git clone uh, git.suckless.org slash surf you can get all their software this way um, well most of it I'm pretty sure that everything that they have is on on this git repository on their website um, once you do that it'll uh, clone the directory and then you can go into it and this is what you have you have the source code here so with the source code um, you can edit anything you want. You can apply patches that they provide on their website that were written by uh, the community, um, which might uh, give you some extra features or extra functionality. And um, after that, you just compile it with make, and then you install it with make as well. And once you do that, it'll install it, and um, you'll have surf. One thing that the Git version requires, though, is an extra piece of software here called GCR. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah. So once you get GCR, GCR, it's not G okay. So GCR, you need this. Uh, once you've installed that, um, then you make sudo make clean and install surf. Because um, if you don't, uh, it'll be missing a dependency and it won't build properly. Anyway, that's it. You've installed surf. Congratulations. You can now. Uh, browse the web sucklessly so um, you can just run here I'll show you how to use it so you type in surf surf and then whatever website you want to go to so google.com or duckduckgo whatever whatever you want I don't care and here it is that's that's it like it's it's very functional browser um, can do everything except video support but don't worry I figured it out for video support, you get G-Streamer. Uh, G so you just uh, install G-Streamer. G-Streamer, if I can spell. Um, and then you need GST plugins. Good. And then you need the uh, audio video library for GST as well. G-Streamer. G-Streamer, rather. Uh, so it's called libav. So, again. GStreamer, GST plugins, good, and GST libav, and that'll give you video support for Surf. So next time you open Surf, um, and you go to like YouTube.com or something like that, um, the videos will work. Without this, they won't work. Um, YouTube will give you a big no-no uh, error. So anyway, what else to talk about? It is patchable. We men mentioned that. One thing I have is a patch called Modal. It's on the Suckless website, um, which allows me to have single key commands so that when I open surf, so uh, if we open up Wikipedia quickly, and I can hit J and K for up regularly, or by default, it's you have to hold control, and then you get the Vim keys as well, so you hold control and then J to go down, but with this patch modal, it allows you to do have single key commands because what it does by removing the mod key, it includes a function um, called insert mode, which is the whole modal aspect of it, which you hit I and then it'll put you in insert mode. There's no visual cue for that. You'll just have to remember history. And then you hit escape and you can get out of uh, insert mode and then you can uh, scroll the page regularly with your single keys it's a simple patch and it makes my life slightly easier so <laughs> that's why I use it 
Um, what else to talk about? Styling. Let's talk about styling. So if you go into your home directory and you go into the surf directory called dot surf, it's a hidden directory directory. And there is a directory inside that called styling. Styles. Styles. And inside here will be nothing, but you can create a file called default.css, and uh, as the name suggests, every time you open up Surf, it'll load this um, little bit of uh, CSS, and it'll be the default um, style for that for every page you visit. So, in mine, all I have is a little bit of CSS that inverts the colors, um, because then I don't have to write uh, a bunch of CSS to uh, format like a a dark browser. I I can just I'll just reverse the colors and because most of the web is white anyway, so it'll end up being black. So um, other than styles, you you can add plugins. So plugins are available through their website at uh, Surf. So yeah, so you can run Surf from D menu or whatever program runner you have as well. You don't need to run it from the terminal. Um, Obviously, so you can surf to suckless.org. Actually, you can directly go to surf.suckless.org. Um, and on here, this is this is their website, by the way. They have all their programs here. So you can go to patches, and these are all the patches that I mentioned earlier. Here's modal, right? Uh, and this just exp does exactly what I explained. So, in under files is where the um, JavaScript pl plugins are. So just like um, Firefox and Chrome plugins. They're written in JavaScript. Uh, they're under files, though. So I have um, link hints. Link hints um, allows you to uh, hit a key, Control F, in my case, or it, the, the default case is Control F, actually. Hit Control F, and the numbers will come up um, under every link that you can navigate to so that you don't have to click on it with your mouse. Um, you know, ironically, <laughs> it doesn't work on the Suckless website. So you can do Control F. And now numbers that correspond to every single link on the page come up, and then you can just, you know, type in those numbers, and it'll navigate to that link. So 16 will navigate to the 16th link. Uh, tabbed and D menu are optional programs for this uh, um, piece of software here, but I, I highly recommend tabbed and D menu are both suckless programs as well, both made by the same people. So D menu is just a program runner. So that's in my window manager. I use dmenu to run a program that I want. Um, it's basically just um, a one-line terminal. Terminal. That's, that's essentially what it is. The uh, dmenu for Surf though allows you to have an address bar. So as you could, as you saw, when I opened up Surf, um, when I hit uh, Control G, it's G in my case, but the default is Control G. It opens up the address bar. Address bar. Now, in the in the released version right now, in the um, the at least the Arch Linux repository, D menu um, is actually opened um, for the address bar. But in the new Git version, uh, which is really great, it it opens it right within the uh, it's embedded right into Surf, which is super great. That's one thing you can have. Another thing you can have is Tabbed. So Tabbed allows you to embed programs inside of it. Uh, to have multiple instances of it, um, and then have uh, different tabs for every instance. So you can use it for your terminal, but you can also use it for Surf. Um, every program has a different way of embedding itself into um, another program. In the case of Surf, I have a script that embeds itself because I don't, I can't, because I don't want to have to write the command every time. So if I go into that script, I can show you um, how to embed Surf. So to run a program inside tab, do you run tab first and then uh, then the uh, program that you want to embed inside of it after with its embedding command? So in the case of surf, it's surf-e to embed it. Um, Tab-c, that the dash c, all it does is close tabbed when you close the last tabbed. Um, that, that should be a default behavior in my opinion, but uh, it's useful. So tab-c, uh, tab-c, surf-e for embed. And then at disown or ampersand disown just um, it disconnects from it and then uh, stops getting log errors. Uh, 
basically. I just do it out of habit. I don't even know if you need to do that, but um, anyway, I have that bound in my window manager. I actually use DWM, which is a um, another Cyclist program anyway. Um, and here it is. So this is tabbed. I actually have the tabbed uh, instead of, you can get tabbed through your package manager, but I got um, tabbed through their, I can't remember if it was through their DL or their Git. Um, but anyway, I got the source so that I could um, through one of those ways, and so that I could uh, change the configuration. It's Control Shift Enter. Open a second tab. Control Shift L for the right. Control Shift H for the left, just like Vim. And then you just hit uh, Control G or in my case G um, to go wherever you want on the internet. Well, I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial, and I hope that um, you start using Surf, and I hope that this helps.